The introduction of the so-called strong mayor powers in Toronto have just become more controversial than they already were. John Tory will now have the ability to pass bylaws without the support of the majority of council. And that has raised questions about a fair democracy in the city. I'm absolutely horrified by not only this threat to our democracy, but effectively the end of any true sense of democracy here in the city of Toronto. The alarm bells are ringing at City Hall even before the new council comes together for the first time. Councillors standing up in opposition to the latest change in new powers being offered up to the mayor by the province. A newly revealed part of the legislation would now allow John Tory to pass city bylaws with the support of just one third of council. I've said many times before that uh, I wouldn't expect to be uh, utilizing these new authorities uh, very frequently and so I think that's a starting position. Uh, I think secondly, um, I have a very clear mandate from people to move forward. What a load of crap. Then why did he ask for it? That's ridiculous. Among those taking issue with Tory's new powers, new Scarborough North Councillor Jamal Myers issued a statement saying we cannot trade away our local democracy for the sake of convenience. And it's particularly disappointing that the mayor requested this power while making no mention of it during the campaign. The discussions took place after the introduction of the bill uh, and well before the election and uh, that, that was when that happened and so uh, there, there was not no clarity as to exactly what was going to be the result of those discussions until the new legislation was introduced in the last couple of days. The notion that Tory asked for even more power from the Ford government has raised questions about his re-election and whether he should have shared that information publicly. Tory insists the reason for the new powers is to ensure new housing in all forms be built throughout the city. His efforts to legalize rooming houses in the past, for example, have been delayed multiple times without majority council support. We need to do this in order to address what is an acute shortage of housing and an acute shortage of affordable housing in the city. What John Tory has done with Doug Ford's support is effectively centralized power into his own hands along with a select group of councillors who he chooses and ended any true sense of democracy uh, in the city of Toronto. He's broken our democracy and I think it's shameful. There's no indication at this point when Tory will invoke his new authority or for what exactly. The first opportunity will present itself when council meets in less than a week. Mark McAllister, City News.